Hey, hey guys, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can uh, integrate your KV Core with your Facebook ads so you can get your leads from Facebook into your KV Core using the API integration. My name is John Kinnanen. I'm a licensed real estate agent in the state of Florida and in the state of Michigan as well, and I'm a digital marketer. If you like getting content like this about growing your business through digital marketing, consider subscribing to this channel. channel. Um, without further ado, though, let's get to it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go log into your KV Core and then you're going to go to, all. you can either go to all marketing or just jump right to smart campaigns. If you jump right to smart campaigns, the very first thing you have to do is set up a campaign. Um, that way there are some that are already set up, but I'm going to walk you through this whole process so that you know how to do everything. What you'll do is you'll start add, comp well, first of all. I hit the wrong button first of all you got to set up your templates uh, and your templates think of it like this like if you're baking a cake and you're getting all the ingredients ready to do it that's kind of what you're doing by setting up your templates so you're gonna set up uh, your emails your text your phone calls that all, everything that goes into this campaign okay so first of all you're gonna go to add template and we're just gonna walk through maybe a couple real quick we're gonna call this uh, we'll call it YouTube YouTube E1 for email one, and then, well, not exclamation point, um, and then we're gonna call this, um, it, you're gonna wanna put something catchy here to get them to open up your, your email, like, um, I don't know, here is the information you requested. You're gonna put in here something that makes sense, and you're gonna, you know, put a little more thought into it than what I just did. You're gonna hit advanced editor, and you're gonna go to yes, and then this is the easiest way to make emails, okay? You can drag this, put it here. Um, say you wanna do maybe two rows, or they call it rows, but it's more like two columns, right? And you can put a text there, and you can put a vi uh, image there. Um, I almost said video. You can do a video, too. You could do a video. Uh, could get rid of uh, this part if you would like. Uh, all you do is just go like that, delete, yep, okay. So then maybe you have a little video in there explaining, I don't know, um, but definitely always put your social media in here so that you are, you know, they're able to follow you. They're able to look you up and they're able to follow you uh, so that you get to be the agent that they know, like, and trust. Okay, once you get your email set up though, you're gonna hit add template. And then that's just the first one. Maybe we do a text, you know. Um, we're gonna call this uh, YouTube T1 for text one that is going to go out in the sequence, okay? And then just hello, thank you for subscribing here. Um, something like maybe I look forward to getting to know you. I don't know, something like that. It just depends. I'm just going to go through this kind of quick so that you get you guys already know what you guys want to set up, right? Once you get your ingredients all together, everything that you want to do, then you're going to go over to My Campaigns, right? And this is where you're going to click Add Campaign, and then we're going to do Hashtag. So when a certain lead comes in with a hashtag of this, it's going to automatically fire off the sequence. You won't even have to do anything because setting up automation helps get you your life and your time back because when you start generating leads, there's no way that, I mean, especially if you're following me along with all these other videos and tutorials I'm doing on generating leads, if you're doing a quarter of those even, you have a ton of leads coming in by now and you're going to need some automation to help you um, take over. So we're going to do like maybe you just do... Uh, Oh, let's just say hashtag YouTube, YouTube one, something like that. Okay, you click on that, and then you click on next, and we're this. We'll say this is a buyer lead coming in, and campaign name. We're gonna call it maybe we'll call it YouTube, YouTube lead, buyer leads. I don't know, and then just a little description of it, right? And then you click on next and then you click on finish okay and so this right here is telling you this is the one that we just set up it says hashtag is well there's two hashtags in there because you don't have to uh, put 
two like like how I did that one hashtag. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can show you here. Uh, let's see, is it gonna let me? Uh, you can go to edit right here and you can change it. So say you don't really have to put that hashtag in there. Um, do this. Then you just click next. Oh. Missing triggers it says. Oh, I know what I know why. Because you got to go YouTube. Say you do 12, then you have to click on that. There you go. See how it's gray now? Now you click, yep, we already did all that. So then you click on finish. And then you start adding actions to this, okay? Like the email that we set up. Uh, we'll call this uh, YouTube email one, right? Even though, and then you can search for that, that email. And then you just go, say you want it to run immediately, okay? So then you go add. And then you set this all up, okay? I kind of already have one of these already set up uh, right here. So say you, you know, you, you can even set up your phone call so it calls you and then it starts calling them on the other end so that you get connected to them. It does one call over three days um, per day. Uh, then you got this one that fires off immediately. Uh, you got a text, another text uh, five minutes after that text, and then you got an email one day later, and then another uh, task on day two. So that's uh, how you set up your campaign. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and there is uh, my contact information in the description of this video if you need to reach out to me. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Marketplace. Now, a lot of this stuff um, costs money, you like your smart number, vanity domain, but they did something that's really cool, and they made this for free. Not, not everything in here costs money. So then you go to Add to KV Core, all right, and then you're going to click on Facebook, okay? Like I said, this one is going to be free for you. Then you're going to log in. and go connect KV core see if it's I'm pretty sure I put the right e or uh yeah I did okay hey I want to talk to you about a very important feature here on YouTube it's that like button down in the corner please consider liking this video and put in the comments below what you've learned I'd greatly appreciate it so right here you click on continue as yourself. Um, I'll just use this form right here that I have connected. And then I click start sync. Click here. Then I'm going to click here. I already has the form selected my page down here it starts mapping it from the the form fields that you have in Facebook to the KB core it's gonna match them up um, if they're wrong you can always adjust um, I like to well the phone number to me should be the cell phone number so that right there you know you could Essentially, you know, you could hit the minus here and then redo it. I'll just leave it for the sake of this. But for one, you do have to add the hashtag um, that we created just in that last uh, little step there. I think we called it YouTube. And then you go add field. And then what you do is you click on this here. And then you'll click on, you put it in the notes. So it's going to bring that hashtag into here and then when that happens it's then gonna fire off that sequence that we just started or that we've just finished so if you want to see how I would do that with this phone number I you just minus the phone number then you go with phone number click on phone number and then you click on cell phone so there you go so after you've gone ahead and you have set up 
the hashtag to go to the notes everything is set up remember you set up the ad first it's a lead ad you have a form you connect that form to KB Core by going through these steps, set up that campaign, the hashtag, so that it all fires off and it all flows together. There's a couple other videos popping up. I highly suggest watching them. Uh, the one is how to set up a conversion ad. I highly suggest watching that. That's a great ad that we've had great success with. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.